Hello again and welcome back to this uh, rigid connection calculation example. Uh, we went through the calculation of rotational stiffness in the previous video. Uh, in this video, we are going to check if this connection is counted as rigid connection or semi-rigid connection. According to Eurocode 199318, we have two types of classifications, uh, stiffness and strength. Let's do it together. This is our example, you are familiar with that, and this is the detail. So in Eurocode, uh, class 5.2 classification of joints, and then 5.2.2 classification by a stiffness. If you go down, you will see that we have nominally pinned joints. A nominally pinned joint should be capable of transmitting the internal forces without developing significant moments which might adversely affect the members or the structure as a whole. A nominally pinned joint should be capable of accepting the resulting rotations under the design loads. Rigid joints, joints classified as rigid, may be assumed to have sufficient rotational stiffness to justify analyses based on full continuity. To understand this better, if we go through one of the, my videos in the buckling analyses uh, playlist, or buckling of the uh, structures in in my playlist you will find uh, I don't remember the video number but you will find uh, the minimum uh, stiffness that you would require to have a to change the behavior of the uh, of the structure or of the beam or whatever the element is so this is also the same after having a certain amount of stiffness, the behavior can be assumed completely rigid. Semi-rigid joints, a joint which does not meet the criteria for a rigid joint or a nominally pinned joint should be classified as a semi-rigid joint. Semi-rigid joints provide a predictable degree of interaction between members based on the design moment rotation characteristic of the joint. In figure 5.4, you can see three zones. We have zone number one, two, three. As you can see in zone number one, you need more bending moment to rotate uh, with an angle of V. But in zone number three, we have less moment and more V. As a result, zone three is taken as pinned connection and zone number one is counted as rigid connection. And Whatever is between is determined as partial or semi-rigid connection. Zone number one, as written in this figure notes, if SJ in I and I, which we already calculated. SJ I and I means that you take mu as one. Greater than KBE IB divided by LB. KB is eight for frames where the bracing system reduces the horizontal displacement by at least 80%. So we are not talking about bracing frame in this example. As a result, this is not applied to us. KB25 for other frames provided that in every story, KB divided by KC is greater than 0.1. Please notice that this is capital K and this is a small K for calculation. KB divided by KC should be greater than 0.1 and we have this star point here. For frames where KB divided by KC is less than 0.1, the joints should be classified as a semi-rigid. KB is the mean value of IB divided by LB for all the beams at the top of that story. So IB is the moment of inertia and LB is the length of the beam. KC is the mean value of IC divided by LC for all the columns in that story. As far as uh, we have same beams, so the mean value will be the same. We have same columns. If we calculate IC divided by LC for one single column, then we have the same value as mean value. For this, we need to take the moment of inertia for each profile that we used in this example. For HEA200, moment of inertia about major axis is 36.92, 10 power by 6 millimeter 4, and the length of the beam was 6668 millimeter. The column was HEB300, moment of inertia is 251.7, 10 power by 6, and 
it was 3 meters so then AB will be IB divided by LB 55 37 83 900 now we need to check KB divided by KC to be greater than 0 0.1 so it is 0 0.06 as a result, our connection is semi-rigid connection. So in other words, according to a stiffness classification, our connection is uh, categorized in semi-rigid connection. The other clause in Eurocode is 5231 classification by strength. Uh, nominally pin joints is explained here. Full strength joints is also explained here. If our case is not in these two categories in terms of uh, strength categorization it will be considered as semi strength joint or semi uh, rigid joint a joint may be classified as nominally pinned if its uh, its design moment resistance is not greater than 25 percent of the design moment resistance required for a full strength joint provided that it ha also has sufficient rotation capacity so uh, MJRD for us in this calculation is 90 kilonewton meter and then depending on uh, the load that is applied I assume that it will be 15 or 20 kilonewton so MED for fully rigid connection will be QL square divided by 12 and let's assuming that this is 20 kilonewton per meter then MED for full rigid connection L is 36.668 meter so it will be 74 even with Q equals to 15 kilonewton per meter it will be 55.6 we can see that 25% of 74 or 55 is something around 15 and MJRD is higher than 25% of those values so as a result our case is not nominally pin joints full strength joints uh, if you come to this item a joint may be classified as a full strength if it meets the criteria given in figure 5.5 five. in figure 5.5 five, five, we can see that with the column height here uh, either if MJRD is greater than MBPLRD or greater than 2MCPLRD MBPLRD and MCPLRD are representing the plastic moment resistance of the beam and the column so mbplrd is wpl times f5 divided by gamma m0 here we can see that for uh, hea200 429.5 429.5 so it will be 152.5 kilonewton meter and mc plrd the value is 1869 664 kilonewton meter we can see that mjrd is not greater than 152.5 mb plrd which is 152.5 and also it is not greater than 2 times 664 as a result our connection is also not uh, fully rigid in terms of strength we can see that in this categorization also it is classified as semi-rigid connection in this video we went through a classification of our connection according to Eurocode 1993-18. According to the code, we noticed that our connection is not uh, considered as a pin connection nor as a fully rigid connection. In both classification categories, including a stiffness and also a strength, it is categorized as semi-rigid connection. In the next video, we will continue with the calculation of semi-rigid connection to find out how much of the load or moment will be transferred to the column. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.